incorruptible, undefiled seed of the living Christ into the womb of your mind, into the soil and fabric of your being, that it might integrate itself and activate itself within you and turn into a flourishing tree of life. A flourishing tree of life. So uh, that, that, that tree of life is what we are. And through Kathara teachings, I've been learning that the tree of life is actually a construct of energetic pattern that replicates itself uh, in greater and greater levels uh, in, into multi-dimensional connected structures that convey energy through all systems of time and matter densities. In other words, right down to the smallest atom and parts of an atom, right back down to what you would call the first particle of consciousness, and right back into that consciousness, even within that first particle, there are, there are uh, what we call pre uh constructs that utilize the same 12 tree grid. And uh, every structure of consciousness comes forth on that 12 tree grid. And uh, that Kathara, actually, I'll just write that Kathara, K-A-T-H-A-R-A. -A. Kathara is the, the what we're learning in the technology at the moment, how to actually regenerate the mind and understand the structure within which we fit. You know, and uh, there, there are many, many uh, understandings to be had. And what we've been learning is there are maps, what they call keys and locks and maps of the inner world of the God worlds, the inner map of the God worlds. In other words, going right down into the, into the infinite parts of ourselves, going right down into every atom, there, there is like a whole new, there's many, many worlds right inside there. Uh, there are many, many worlds right inside our atomic structure going into other worlds. And there are corridors and chambers and many, many parts of communication that link the energetic flows of the spherical energies. See, it's like wheels within wheels within wheels, or spheres within spheres within spheres, and there's spheres of energy that interlink and interplay with one another, all within the one cosmic reality field of creation. And so they're all moving, revolving spheres of energy that communicate through a latticework of a morphogenetic field, a multi-dimensional structured crystalline body uh, with encryption lattices of communication between the many mingling parts that flow and connect in, into every atom, every, every part of consciousness, every planet, every sun, every galaxy, the universal galaxies, and every part of it is all linked together with perpetual life flows of energy that flow in and out like a breath, like a breath of light that God, God's source, which encompasses all things, which circumscribes all things, is working through all matrices of time which are in it within itself. And there are connecting cords and corridors and chambers and many spins and flows and directions of the holographic projection that gives every part of consciousness its connection and its perpetual connection to God's source. That God's source would know itself as every part of creation. And these are divinely timed and coordinated through the infinitesimal uh, communication links that go right down within subatomic particles and right out to the whole universal uh, galaxy and cosmic reality field. And there's many, many step downs in between. And there's corridors uh, that you can travel through in what they call dimensional blending. So if you saw, for example, in this harmonic universe of dimensions one, two, and three, the, there is a what they call a repulsion zone. There is, there is a repulsion zone between the next harmonic universe. So between dimensions one, two, and three, and four, five, and six, there is an electromagnetic repulsion zone that's offset on a 45 degree angle. That consciousness is contained within that first hol holographic um, harmonic universe. And it can't enter into the next one without changing the angular rotation of the particle spin of the substance of your anatomy to go through the gateways to migrate into the next harmonic universe. In other words, we're learning how to change the angle, angle of the particles of our own anatomy to, to go through gates, what they call stargate alignments, ascension cycles through going through known gates that exist in between the God worlds, in between the many worlds that exist. Uh, there, there are chambers that we can travel through, there's directions we can go, there are maps and locks and keys and frequencies and knowledge to be had uh, as to how you can change the anatomy of your own body to go through gates. 
how you can bring your body down to a single point of light and uh, go through go through gates and then expand out into a density in another realm. You know, I have travelled a little bit like that, uh, Krista. Uh, we do in Kathara, we do what we call uh, projections of various parts of our anatomy. Like we could uh, project our etheric body, we could. Uh, project our mental body, our astral body, and different parts of the separations of the body. As I've said before, there's many, many structure, structures to the anatomy. We have a light body, spirit body, dark matter template. We have the physical anatomy. We have uh, different crystalline structures that spring out from the central point of creation that constitute the many, many layers of our multidimensional structure that would uh, constitute the 12 tree grid pattern. And, and many, many subharmonic frequency bands of communication within our own holographic form. And so what we do is we learn how to project a part of ourselves out into these dimensions so that eventually, as, as we would say, put out the etheric uh, projection of ourselves and take it into a journey. We bring, then we bring it back in. Then we bring out uh, maybe our astral part of ourselves as, as the many layers of ourselves are able to be separated out and we can have a part of our consciousness to go on a journey, we can actually learn techniques within ourselves to journey out through the what they call the God world gates and into the inner echo core of creation and into the outer realms and in many, many in, in between places. And so it's it's something we're practicing to do so that in the end we can take our whole physical anatomy uh, through. The physical anatomy, uh, even though it's in a dilapidated state, I mean, I'm, I'm talking about my own body here, as, you know, I have structural problems within my own body, within my uh, legs and things like that. You know, I had polio when I was a child, and I have one leg that's sort of two inches shorter than the other, and I've got steel pins in one knee and things like that. I was hoping to uh, get the regeneration of my body. Now, if my body is just a hologram, which it is, it's a projection of stored information and I'm continually uh, reprojecting the era of, say, the polio. I'm continually uh, projecting that era and it's appearing in my hologram as the same information, you know, without much transformation. There, there is a possibility within my mind that says I can actually uh, recreate the body into a, a beautiful workable form and then transmute the body into light. Uh, you know, and part of the awakening process would allow that that you would have like a very uh, beautiful body made uh, in, in the image and likeness of God's source. It would be uh, divinely proportional and filled with its youth, youthful vitality. It would be uh, wonderfully attuned to, to be an apparatus that you could utilize in any way you wanted without limitation. And so... Uh, yeah, the harmonic conversions, uh, that was, I think that happened in 86 or 89 or something. It was called uh, like a bit of a stargate alignment kind of a thing. Uh, I don't know exactly the full significance of it. But what we're talking about uh, with Kafara teachings is that there is, at this present time, uh, a stellar activation cycle. Stellar activation cycle is where there is normally, on a certain time cycle, there is normally an alignment every 26,556 years at a certain point in that time where there would be an organic alignment of the spirals of energy uh, within the spheres, within spheres, within spheres, where this planet Earth would come into an alignment that would align uh, the, the spins and flows of the earth would uh, align with the spins and flows of the sun and would align with the spins and flows of the galaxy core and other multi-dimensional structures where we could go into the inner world of the God worlds and uh, right out to the perimeters of the expansive mind of Christ. We could actually line up those parts of ourselves that would uh, enable that. And uh, it started in the year 2000. It started in the year 2000 and it's currently continuing on and there are base pulse frequency, uh, you might say, speeding up 
there, there would be energies coming into the earth now that would enable the quick transfiguration of your anatomy and uh, the lifting up of your consciousness, the migration of your consciousness into higher dimensional fields. It's, it's, it's a timed thing. Normally it would be organic, but it has been a forced stellar activation cycle because of certain uh, interests, you might say. Uh, the black hole technology that I talk about, in other words, those parts of consciousness that uh, fell into a fallen, a fallen state, they are aligning what they call their black hole reverse spiral technologies uh, for the year 2012. And uh, that Mayan prophecy is quite accurate in as much as the other time cycles of the black hole fall uh, technology coming into the earth to really ensnare the people at a great level. Uh, and as you know, this world, with all of its rampant energies of you know, continued corruption, uh, our, our anatomy is really uh, harnessed uh, on a subatomic level uh, by many of these energies that have been coming into the planet for millions and millions and millions of years harvesting the particle life here. And so there's going to be a, like a really powerful uh, vortex energy uh, siphoning at that time by the black hole technology team uh, that are extracting life out of living systems. But at the same time there are spiraling energies coming into the earth uh, from the living core of creation, which we call the crystal river flow, uh, bringing kilotic wave and fusions of encryption of mathematical form of light and sound electromagnetic frequencies, restoring uh, those parts of creation that can, re can be restored that would accept it. So uh, that crystal river flow, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's part of the teachings that we have here you know, with the Cathara crystal river. It's, it's quite beautiful when you start to see the frequencies coming in. It's amazing. And harness, uh, harness means that uh, the structure of your anatomy I said before a few times that an atom that you see here in three dimensionality has a far greater lattice work of encryption um, signatures that support it in a multi-dimensional form right out to the edge of the cosmos. So an atom uh, is multi-dimensional in its structure and we only see part of its structure here because of our shutdowns. We've been shut down and programmed on the subatomic particle level in the very substance of our bodies. So the atoms of our body have been shut down and at a higher field in that atom, uh, some of the black hole technology that's come into the planet over the millions of years of corruption here, uh, the corruption has been to spin off some of the fields of the supporting network of the atoms of our body so that uh, the higher elemental forms and the elemental families of the atomic structure have been perverted by uh, black hole technology at a very, very high level in the frequency bands of that atom. And so the atomic structure is being directed into what they call the black hole siphoning system that sucks energy out of the planet. And that's why we die. That's why the body tries to get up to a certain point and it can't sustain itself and it drops back to dust. Our natural organic cycle and return to source, return home, would have been that we went through...